Hi guys, today I want to discuss pre-workout supplementation. Um, this is probably one of them topics that's just been blown out of proportion, mainly by the supplement company trying to sell you these magic potions, pre-workout to help you improve strength, um, endurance, general focus in the gym. But the reality is, as I'm discuss later, there's only really one ingredient that's going to improve your performance acutely, so over a short period of time. So I think it's firstly important to just put this into the bigger picture and in my opinion people need to change their mindset with this. The reality is if you're going to make significant improvements in your physique, especially in terms of hypertrophy, muscle gain, it's going to take several, several years training naturally. Um, if you look at some of the top um, natural pros, they've all got 10, 15, 20 years plus training. So just having that mindset of, oh, I have some magic formula pre-workout to improve my session that day and the reality is you need to rethink mainly over the bigger picture focus on a, a quality and um, training program progressive overload sufficient calories working those very important factors or so training macronutrient requirements calories measuring your progress so this comes under that minor detail category. So that's the first thing. It needs to be a mindset shift. You're spending kind of 30, 40, 50 pounds on this stuff. It's probably going to last you a few weeks. Um, you could have spent that for some quality, quality um, food. Secondly, let's actually look at the um, the evidence. So two good examples: creatine monohydrate. Beta alanine, both shown positive effects for training, strength, hypertrophy, um, performance. However, the, the benefits shown over a chronic period of time, so over several weeks. So, without question, the, both these supplements are effective, but in this video, I'm more looking at the acute effects of the supplement. So, the one that's going to have a, a marked improvement is going to be caffeine. Um, Several studies show the acute benefits, acute performance increase, general focus within the gym. Um, so therefore that will be my one supplement I'd suggest taking pre-workout. A very good ballpark sign figure is going to be 3 to 6 milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. This can be the form of coffee or uh, caffeinated tablets. It's also important to adjust the dosage depending on response. So if you're not used to taking caffeine frequently, I'd err on the lower end. And then if you're used to it, you're a lot more tolerant to caffeine, I'd err on the higher end. Um, but at the end of the day, it still comes down to preference, however you how you feel in the gym, just take note and adjust from there. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope it could possibly save you quite a lot of money if you're spending quite a lot of money on pre-workout, powders, etc. Um, so just to clarify, I was more looking at the acute responses, so therefore caffeine is the only supplement that has acute benefit, um, but that's not to say sort of creatine, better alanine doesn't have benefits. Well, without question, they do over a prolonged period of time. That's that was a chronic look at it, whereas I was looking, I was looking at it acutely. Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do by clicking on the subscribe button. Have a good day. Thank you very much.